Fun Seekers. We're coming to you today from Scala, Virginia. We're standing out here on the front porch of Earl Hamner Jr.'s childhood home. Many of you will know Earl Hamner Jr. as the real John Boy from the Waltons TV show. Are y'all ready to go in and check this place out? I know I, know I am. am. Let's go, Carly. Welcome to the boyhood home of Earl Hamner Jr., the real John Boy. Not only did Earl Hamner Jr. create the TV show The Waltons, he was the voiceover narrator for the television show as well. It is his voice that you hear at the beginning and end of each episode of The Waltons. This house was built in 1915, and this was a company town. Everyone worked just down the street at the Soapstone Company. Earl Sr. was a machinist who repaired the Soapstone machines. Earl Jr. moved into this house when he was six years old. He was only a child at this point, and the year was 1929. Unlike some of Earl's siblings, Earl was not born here in this house. James Hamner, who was portrayed as Jim Bob on the television show, was the last sibling to live in this house. In 2003, James developed lung cancer and died April the 1st, 2004. The house went up for courthouse auction and was purchased by Pam Rutherford, a longtime local who restored the house and sold it to Carl Johnson on August 30th, 2017. At the time of recording this video, there was a for sale sign in the yard for this house. It is my understanding that the house has been sold and will become a private residence. This could be one of the last recordings you see from this house. This old truck right here would represent the truck that John would use on the TV show, The Waltons. It's a flatbed. This is where they would put the lumber on the back from the sawmill. The Walton's Hamner House. In memory, I go there each night. I stand beside the gate, look up to the house, and once again, I hear the voices of my mother and father, my brothers and sisters, as we call good night to each other before we sleep. Earl Hamner, Jr. This is a registered Virginia landmark established 1915. Well, let's walk up on the front porch and go inside this house, take a look around, and we're going to try to show you what it looked like at the house that Earl Hamner Jr. grew up in. We just walked into the Hamner house, and we're going to take a look around. The first room you walk into would be the living room area. You notice over here in this corner, you see a piano. Of course, you wouldn't have had the television like that. Here is a rotary dial telephone. A lot of folks don't even know what they were. Here are some old pictures on the wall. Up here would be a picture of the Hamner family. Here's a coffee table, your sofa. You have a chair over here in this corner. Behind the chair would be the the radio that they would all gather around and listen to. Imagine life without TV. And we're here, it's almost the end of December, almost getting ready to start a new year. They have a Christmas tree hung up in the house. Right over here, as you get ready to go up the stairs, there's another chair, sofa. And this piece of furniture right over here in the corner. And this picture right here is a picture of Earl Hamner Jr. with a flag that was flown over the Capitol in Washington, D.C. in his honor. Now we're getting ready to enter into the kitchen area of the house. First thing you, that you will observe is this huge dining room table. You notice the bench benches for seating. I can remember them sitting around the dinner table. This is a fairly accurate table that they would have been in the house at, during that time frame. Over here on the wall are some old pictures hung up. Here's a hutch that would have been used to store items like for plates and stuff in. 
And here are some more photographs up on the hutch. Here's an old chest right here. Butter churn. Here's some old canisters for your flour and sugar. Lantern hung up on the wall where your jackets and stuff would go. And back right over here in, the, in this corner, you see the stove that would have been used to cook with. And there's the sink, some cabinets. And you always heard them talking about the recipe from the Baldwin sisters. Here it is, a jar that portrays the secret recipe. And right over here in this corner is some utensils for that would have been used to make like bread and sift flour with. Some mason jars. And this is what the sink looked like. And let's get over here and get a butter shot of the stove here. Right here on this table is a model of the house that the Waltons lived in. This would be John and Olivia on the front porch. And I'm assuming this is made to be like a birdhouse. You see the holes that are bored in it. And on the back you see the signatures where the cast actually autographed. Now this is the bedroom that is downstairs. This would have been John and Olivia's bedroom. This is what the room looks like. Above the bed would be the actual Hamners, mother and father of Earl Hamner Jr. This would have been their bedroom. There they are pictured above the bed. But this is what the bed would have looked like there's a chair over here in the corner. There's a dresser, a couple lamps, a clock. Now this is a picture of Olivia Walton right here. And this would have been a mirror and a brush to fix a hair with. And here's another dresser with a bowl and pitcher for water. And then right over here was a, a rocking chair with a dresser and a mirror. I opened up the closet door in the bedroom and up on the shelf I saw a game called the Walters game. This was put out by Milton Bradley company. I never knew a Walton's game even existed. Now yeah. these are the steps that lead to the upstairs of the house. Let's go up here and see what the upstairs looks like. As you get up here, here's a bedroom straight ahead at the steps. This room right here would have been the girls' room. You can notice over here on the bed some raggedy end dolls. Behind us, a pair of bib overhauls hung up. Here is a, another bed over here in this corner. And there's some pictures around the house hung up that these were going to be destroyed, so they kept them and hung them up in the house here. 
And as soon as you walk in, there is a dresser with a mirror on top. Right over here is a chair. There's a closet area and then another little dresser with a, a tiny little rocking chair. After you leave the girls' room, you would walk right down here and turn to your left at the end of the hallway. And this would have been the boys' room. This is where the boys would have stayed at. Here is a desk right here. This is where John Boy Walton would have done all his writing. He always wanted to be a famous writer. And these are the beds in the room. Here is a chair, it says the Hamders. And I noticed over here in the corner, there's a little table with another radio on top of it. A fishing reel. Here's a dresser that everyone would have kept the clothes in. And this is a cool looking Walton's lunchbox. I can remember those back when I was a kid. This is a typewriter. They had a computer that's taking place of that. This is the last picture of Earl Hamner Jr. visiting his beloved Walton's Mountain. In this picture right here, you see him overlooking the Rockfish River. He was already not feeling well and was diagnosed with cancer. Once he got back to his home in California, that's where he passed away. You can only imagine what all he must be thinking as he was looking across there. When you come up the steps, there's a big picture of the cast from the Waltons. And I started looking at it and naming everybody and thought how cool this is. And then all of a sudden I realized, where's John Boy? I didn't see the actor who played John Boy, but if you look in the back right behind Aaron, you'll see Earl Hamner Jr., the real John Boy. So I thought that was a pretty cool picture that you have the whole cast with Earl Hamner Jr. Upstairs, you'll notice this quilt right here. This quilt was made by a lady in Canada. And the cool part about this quilt each actual person in this family, they have their name, and then they have the character that was being portrayed. For example, you have Earl Hamner Sr., which would have been John Walton, Doris Hamner, who was Olivia Walton, Earl Hamner Jr., John Boy, and so on. But this was very cool. Carly is sitting out here on the porch of the Hamner house. Carly, could you imagine having all those brothers and sisters sitting out here with you, having a conversation? Yes, that would be awesome. Yeah, it would be awesome. It was such a simpler time, and to have those many siblings would have to be fun. Dedicated to the memory of our mother and father, whose love for each other and for their family is celebrated in this museum. The Hamner House has been registered as a Virginia Historic Landmark. Good night, John Boy. Good night, Elizabeth. Good night, Jim Bob.